Okay, so I've just started to draw this question out. We've got two circles, one of 5 centimeters radius and another circle of radius 12 centimeters, and the distance between the centers is 13 centimeters. Now to find the overlap here, the area of the overlap, what I'm going to do is consider drawing a line straight the way down uh, from where they intersect, like that. So it divides it up into two segments. We have the red segment coming from the red circle and we have the green segment in here coming off the green circle. And so by working out the areas of the two segments, adding them together will give me this shaded region. Now, to find the area of a segment, uh, just run you through that uh, in case you're unfamiliar with it. Okay, what we do, let's just start by drawing a quick sketch of a sector of a circle. Okay, there's our sector. Let's label this C, let's call that A and call that B. Okay. To find the area of a sector, what I do is I need to know this angle in here, and the area of a sector okay, is equal to the angle, let's say C, compared with the angle round the complete circle, that's 2 pi, if I'm working in radians, or it's the angle over 360 degrees if I'm working in degrees. And then I want to know what fraction this area, uh, sorry, I need to know what fraction this is of the area of a complete circle. So that would be of pi r squared. Okay, so we'll call these lengths r and r for the radius of a circle. So that would be my formula for the area of a sector. And I want to know the area of the segment, so what I can do is imagine then a line down there, and this is the segment I'm trying to find. And what I'm going to do is take away the area of the triangle. So the area of a triangle, we should know the formula, is a half the product of two sides times the sine of the included angle. And the two sides here would be the radius, so that would be times r squared, times the sine of the included angle, angle C. Okay? Now then, what I need then is the area of these sorry is the angle in each of the sectors these angles here and to do that i need to know this angle here which i'm going to call theta and once i found out theta i can double it to get that total angle there and i also need to know this angle here which i'll call alpha and then i can double it to get my angle 2 alpha okay so, how do I find theta? How do I find alpha? Well, what I do is I look at this triangle and immediately, seeing the sides 5, 12 and 13 tells me this is a Pythagorean triangle. 5 squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. That's Pythagoras' theorem. So that means that this angle up here is a right angle. So I'm going to mark that in as a right angle. And if I'm going to work this problem out in, say, radians, then I'm going to have to call that not 90 degrees, but the equivalent angle in radians is pi upon 2 radians. OK? So I need to work this angle out here, and I can use just normal trigonometry from a right angle triangle. The 12 centimetres is the opposite side to theta, and the 5 centimetres is the adjacent side. So I know that tan of theta okay, would equal the opposite side, 12, over the adjacent side, 5. And so if I work that out, inverse tan of 12 fifths, make sure your calculator is in radians mode, I get 1.1760 and so on radians. Remember I need to double that to find all of this angle in here, 2 theta in other words, so therefore 2 theta will be twice that amount, so that will be 2.3520 and so on radians. 
I don't do any rounding up in my calculation, otherwise I'm going to get rounding errors throughout the problem. OK, having got that angle in there and turning to this diagram, I know that this angle in here now is my 2 theta. And my radius is 5 centimeters. So R is 5 centimeters. We'll just mark a 5 there. I'll leave out the units. OK? So if I'm to work out the area of the red segment, we'll just pop that in there, area of the red segment. OK? I'm going to need to work out the area of the sector. So the area of the sector will be the angle over 2 pi, the angle being 2 theta, 2.3520, and so on, divided by 2 pi. And I need to times that by the area of the circle. So I'm finding a fraction of the area of the circle. And the area of the circle will be pi times the radius squared, radius being 5, so that's 5 squared. So that's the area of the sector. And now I need to take away the area of the triangle. And the area of the triangle, OK, will be half times the product of the two sides. OK, the radius, that would be 5 times 5, 5 squared, times the sine of the included angle. And the included angle is my 2 theta, which is 2.35 to 0 and so on. Make sure your calculator then is still in radians mode and if you work out this sum and this value here you should find that you get 20.5243 and so on centimeter squares. Okay, I now do exactly the same by going to the area of the green segment. But in order to work out the area of the green segment, I need to work out this angle alpha and then double it. And there's several ways I could get alpha. I could just, being the third angle of this triangle, I could simply add uh, these two angles together, pi upon 2 and theta, and take it away from 180 degrees, or in the equivalent in radians is pi radians. Um, but I'm just going to work it out by trigonometry. Alpha would be equal to the inverse tan of the opposite side, 5 over 12. And if I work that out, I get, let's have a look, yes, I get 0.39 four seven and so on radians. Okay, we just write that in as radians. Doubling it for two alpha gives me an angle of naught point seven eight nine five radians. Okay, so I'm ready to get the area of the green segment. As before, it's the angle, so that's two alpha, naught point seven eight nine five and so on all over 2 pi times the area of the circle, pi times the radius squared. Now the radius won't be 5 anymore, okay? It will be the 12 centimeters, so I'll just put 12 there. The angle won't be 2 theta, but it will be 2 alpha. So it'll be times the radius squared, that's 12 squared. Minus the area of the triangle, that's a half times the radius squared. So that's 12 squared times the sine of the included angle. And the included angle is 2 alpha, being 0 0.7895, and so on, radians. And again, if you work that out on your calculator, what you get is 5.7239, and so on, radians. So to get the final area, so just put therefore the shaded area, what I've got to do is just simply add the two answers here together and since they want the answer to one decimal place what I get is 26.2 centimeter squares to one decimal place. Okay.